Starbase Columbus opened in 1992. The store started out so small and so intimate, and then it gradually grew. My name is Kim Farrell. I am the self-proclaimed queen of the geeks. I have been at Starbase Columbus for 23 years, um, which is awesome. There's a wide variety of merchandise here. There's a lot of Star Trek um, memorabilia, games, um, figures, ships, electronics. We even have a um, Bluetooth communicator that hooks to your phone and makes all this, you know, the noise and you can talk on it. Enterprise Bridge, Lieutenant Uhura. So my name is Mark Williams and um, I have been involved in Star Trek fandom for 30 years. We also have quite a bit of Star Wars merchandise, um, similar things, action figures, um, ships, and then a wide variety of other um, science fiction. Doctor Who, Babylon 5, Firefly. It's a little bit of everything. There have been a lot of really interesting little events that we've had at the store. One of the really cool things that we did is we became a post office for a day. The original um, Star Trek stamp, the Enterprise, came out. Starbase was a post office for a day to launch that stamp. Robin Curtis, who was in Star Trek III, she's been to the store. Jonathan DeLarco, who played Hugh Borg. Mark Orkren, who created the Klingon language, he's been here too. The most turnout that we ever had at the store is our beloved Jimmy Doohan, who played Scotty, came to the store and did autograph signing for free. He signed for everybody that came through the door all day long. We had about 5,000 people through the store on that day. The addition of this being part of a nonprofit that actually goes to help people, um, it, it really is special. We've done like the, the food drive for the Mid-Ohio Food Bank several times. We've done raffles and drawings, tickets, auctions to um, raise funds so that we could donate not only food but money. Those are just a few of the things that we try to do to give back to the community that we love. Uh, because that's really the ideal of Star Trek. It's about helping people. It's about people coming together. And you really feel that here. People come in, they're buying stuff, but they're talking to you about the culture of Star Trek. Starbase is not just a place where you come and shop for sci-fi stuff. It's more about a community and a sense of um, a sense of family, a sense of belonging. It's not just a store. It's really a way of thinking about life that happens to have a store to raise money for people. When you walk through the door here, you're always greeted with a smile. Everybody is accepted and everybody is made to feel comfortable. What unifies us is the love of Star Trek or the love of science fiction. Pretty soon, you keep coming back, you, you become part of the Starbase family.